Work continues on the construction of our protective relay demonstration system. As you can see, we've got several relays installed in the door of this enclosure, the stainless steel door. We have the holes laser cut. And presently, we have a pair of General Electric IAC time and instantaneous overcurrent relays residing here. We also have a test switch we can use for disconnecting the current transformers. And then we have our Schweitzer 501 overcurrent relay. Uh, happens to be missing a bracket over here. I only had one bracket when I got this on eBay. I'm hoping to receive another bracket soon. And then another set of test switches and down here a watt meter, a little General Electric electromechanical watt meter, which we plan to experiment with later on. We also have another hole cut in the front panel for another Schweitzer 501 when we get one. And then another spot for either a General Electric or possibly a multi-lin protective relay. I want to experiment with that too. Uh, inside the panel, we're working on construction. Just getting started now, current transformers up there. We're using a set of uh, three-phase contactors to actually do the load current braking because I don't have circuit breakers with trip coils that are big enough to do what we plan to do. The circuit breakers we do have that have trip coils built in are very small and they're going to be used to activate the coils on the contactors. So we're a couple uh, days into construction now of uh, assembling the items. Up to this point we've been cutting holes and drilling and tapping holes for screws and uh, finally now things are coming together and uh, as the saying goes everything's turning clockwise. So hopefully within the next few days we'll have this powered up enough to do some simple demonstrations and we'll have some more videos on protective relays.